how did you find out that you were going to be cast in the first Wives Club? Like, was this something you auditioned for? Written for me. It was written for you. Written for me. I mean, when you found out that you were going to be in this movie with such an A-list cast, um, not only in this movie, a mainstream movie, you must have freaked out. Let's say I lost my shit a little bit. Yes, I did. To be with Diane Keaton, Goldie Hawn, and Bette Midler was un... And all three of them. All three of them. And I had a very... Again, I had a ridiculously great relationship with Goldie. She would come to my shows. I if, if Goldie was in New York and I was doing something, Goldie would be in the audience, which was kind of amazing. You know, she she saw me do... She saw me do Little Abner. She saw me do On the Town. She saw me a couple times at Joe's Pub. She was, you know... She was a supporter. She was fat. You are famously dear friends with one of my other favorites, Sandra Bernhard. Sandy B. How did you guys meet and become friends? We met at a, a mutual, we both had the same publicist and we met at his break fast. <laughs> I mean, we all know that you are a Jew. After Yom Kippur. Yes. We met, Yes. We just sat, and it was really funny because we were both kind of circling each other at this party. And I've been a huge Sandy fan forever. You know what I mean? But if we, what we bonded over was being gay pariahs. I know that's going to sound very odd, but we were calling ourselves gay pariahs because the mainstream of the queer community did not like us. I mean, the white middle-class male boys who ran queerness in those days, they didn't like us. I was, you know, I was way too lefty for them. And Sandy was way too, don't give a fuck about you guys for them. But we sort of bonded on that. And then we both have very, very remarkably, remarkably similar views on life and reality and what our jobs are as stand-up comics and stuff like that. And we've just become very, very dear friends. When she got pregnant, that was the joke that I was the father of the baby. When they would go, well, who's the, they would go like, who's the father? And she'd go, Leah Delaria. It's like, you know, in her Sandy way. Oh, it's Leah Delaria. I love that. Were you around during the Madonna era of her life? No, no, no. That was in the late 80s. I was always Team Sandy in that one, by the way. Of course, of course. Team Sandy. Long story short, it does seem like all signs are pointing that Miranda is going to be gay in the Sex and the City revival. I don't think I'm allowed to talk about this, but I actually know everything. Are you in it? I'm not going to. No, no. I can say that. I'm not in it. I know everything because Cynthia Nixon and I are friends. Okay your closest friends and your ex runs the that sex in the city uh costume chelsea fearless it, they document all of the outfits worn on sex in the city and i'm so they're both so dry and so funny and they have a book out called uh, we should all be mirandas I mean, exactly miranda was always the queer one let's face it um, yeah well let's face it miranda should have been a lesbian from the beginning well remember remember there was that episode in season one where she some people at her office think she is yes gay and